The approximately 9,000 species of the phylum Cnidaria come in a bewildering and beautiful variety of forms, but all are a variation on one of two basic body plans, the polyp and the medusa. Polyps, such as sea anemones, have a foot, which acts as the animal's base, and tentacles that reach upward, awaiting prey like the petals of a predatory flower. The medusa forms, of which jellyfish are prime examples, swim weakly by contracting their bell-shaped bodies while their tentacles trail behind like a deadly web. Both polyps and medusae are radially symmetrical, with body parts arranged in a circle around the mouth of their digestive cavity. This enables cnidarians to capture prey or defend themselves against attack from any direction. Networks of nerve cells branch through the bodies of cnidarians and control contractile tissues that act much like the muscles of more recently evolved animals. Although all cnidarians are predatory, none hunt actively. Rather, they rely on victims blundering into their tentacles, which are armed with specialized cells called cnidoblasts. Cnidoblasts contain sticky, poisonous darts attached to small threads that inject explosively into predator or prey when triggered by contact. It is these specialized cells that give cnidarians their name. Captured prey are forced through an expandable mouth into the gastrovascular cavity where digestion occurs. Since the gastrovascular cavity has only a single opening, after digestion is completed, the mouth becomes an anus through which undigested material is expelled. This two-way traffic is inefficient because it prevents continuous feeding, but it is sufficient to support the low energy demands of cnidarians. Corals are cnidarians of particular ecological importance. Restricted to warm, clear, tropical waters, these polyps secrete a hard protective house of limestone that persists long after their death and serves as a base for a new generation of coral. As the cycle continues for thousands of years, massive coral reefs are formed, which are the basis of underwater ecosystems of stunning beauty and diversity.